G'day everyone, it's Rob the Axe Man here from Axe Man's Fishing Adventures and we're in lockdown 6.0 here in Melbourne, Victoria unable to get out in the boat, unable to go anywhere other than 5 kilometres from home and um, desperate to get out fishing. We've got snapper season coming up in the next couple of months so I'm at home preparing for that um, I'm going to do some rigs and I'm going to show you a little bit of a hack how to be prepared with all your rigs ready for the snapper season. So here we go. Okay, so I've got a couple of other videos you might have seen on my channel. It says, do you want to catch more snapper this season? Uh, one of the videos shows you how to make up the rigs and the rigs that I use. And I also have another video that shows you what baits and burlies and things like that to use. So it might be worthwhile having a look at that. I'll just make a quick rig up now so I can show you this hack how to store your um, rigs ready so they're all ready to go. So I use either the 30 pound, 50 or 60 in uh, Black Magic Leader. I'll make this one out of 60 so it's a bit thicker. You can see it. Finding the end can sometimes be difficult. But it looks like we've got one there. So I usually about a metre and a half, roughly. Nail clippers are good. Nice and easy to use. All right, so I've got about a metre and a half there of leader. Now I've been using these BSB hooks. Um, got them from the guys down there at Melbourne Marine. Go see Jamie and Lee Rayner is down there now as well. Um, these things are dynamite, so sharp. These are in a 5.0. Incredibly sharp hooks. I'm rarely missing a fish um, if it takes the bait. Rarely missing a fish nowadays since I've been using these. So just going to quickly rig this one up. I'll use a, a snell. around down to the bottom and then back up find the end through pull that tight make sure it's nice and tight without the hook going into your hand and I'd uh, generally using silver whitings and whole small squid pilchards things like that you'll see in the other videos so Go for a distance there, that's probably, I don't know, probably about four inches in between the two points. So run that down the back, start wrapping it around again. And back up. through the eye and pull it tight. So that's our double snelled there, all ready to go. Put the first one right the way through the pilchard or silver whiting, then out through the side of the head and then the other one holds it in place up at the tail. Now this one I'm going to use a running ball sinker. So I generally like to put just a little bead on. Main reason being it's not really for the glow or anything like that, it's actually to protect the top of the knot, that, that bit of line there where it touches touches the hook. So I put the bead on first and that way then when I put my running sinker on, it's not actually going to rub on the line or the hook. So it protects that line there from the the, uh, the lead, the weight. So basically that's, that's my rig and I'll just put a swivel on that and then that gets attached to my main line and I'm ready to go. So I'll just grab a quick swivel. I whack these on with just a blood knot, twist it around half a dozen times, thread it through the last loop, grab the end, lubricate, pull tight. Done. As long as you've got that little barrel there, you know you've done the knot right. Clip that off nice and tight, and there's my rig. All ready to go. Running sinker down to the snell. Alright, so what we're going to do now is storing these rigs ready for snapper season. Worst thing is you're out in the rough weather and you get your tackle box out and you put it up on top of the 
bait board or something along those lines and it slides off and you end up with hooks and sinkers and crap all over the floor when you're trying to fish. So this way you're ready, you've got plenty of rigs ready, different types of rigs and you're right to go straight away. It takes you seconds to put a new line back on. So what you need to get yourself is an old pool noodle. All right, this is one the kids didn't use, the dog chewed it up a little bit. So I've cut that in half. Get your knife, be careful doing this guys. This isn't the sharpest of knives. Cut it down the guts, like you're filleting a fish. Then you want to make some slits, about an inch. Make sure you go right the way through, inch apart. I generally make about 15, so yeah. You've got about 15 rigs on one of these, and if you use the whole pool noodle, you'll end up with 30 rigs, all prepared, ready to go on your line straight away. No mucking around. And because we're in lockdown, we've got plenty of time. Spend a couple of hours making up some rigs once you've got your line and sinkers and hooks. So this little, little tube will just go in the side pocket of your boat, have it nice and close, it's light, it's not taking up much weight. That's what we do, where we've got the swivel. Stick it in the groove right the way into the center so it's in tight. Then you basically just wrap it around. Wrap it around like that. We don't hook the tablecloth so the missus doesn't see. First hook into there. Turn that around. Second hook, actually. I can see a tag on there I haven't snipped off yet. That's better. And whack it in there like that. Okay, so you've seen that, how I did all that. And um, I'll just show you again the last one and that one we just did. So get your swivel, put it into the right into the center, into that groove, and just start wrapping it around. Like that. Like the hook in there. Safe and sound, no one's gonna get um, spiked by them, and they're ready to go. As you can see there, all the different varieties. I've got snells, I've got sliding snells, I've got single hooks. Um, with weight, some without weight, some I like to use the um, easy rigs um, and in Western Port I use an easy rig with a little extended half a metre uh, down to the bottom so it stays off the bottom and you don't catch as many sort of rays and banjos and things like that if it's up off the bottom so anyway check out those other videos that I've got um, do you want to catch more snapper this season uh, one's all on the rigs that I use and the other one's on baits and burlies um, check them out and stay safe on the water guys, we'll see you soon.